everybody turns to look. Yeah. Well, there was screaming involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, humans. <laughs> Where did... I was like, where is it? There it is. I had to switch. Yeah, I kind of went on the mark yesterday. Uh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Finally. I'm just going to buy lotto tickets. Yeah, from now on. Yeah, no, for, yeah, from, for all, the, all the money that the condo brings in, I'm just going to buy a yeah. lotto. And then just and be poor again. <laughs> when like three, two dollars. No three uh, two dollar winners. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Welcome everyone to Our Town Podcast. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, share if you can, and review if available. We'd love to hear from you, so comment below and tell us how we're doing. Yes. Don't forget to visit OurTownPodcast.com for all the links and join the members only section of the website or sign up on Patreon. Now here are the boys of our town podcast. Yay. Golf claps about. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome everybody to another exciting edition of Our Town Podcast. Yeah, extraordinary. It's coming to you from the I Am Renting oh, yes. Space here Thank in you, beautiful and historic. Yeah. Yes, downtown. <laughs> yep, downtown. Yeah. <laughs> downtown Renton. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened last year, but I, I apologize. Historic. For this town. <laughs> Getting a little work. ASMR in there, uh, boys. Tonight's safe word is Whitechapel. Hmm. So if you're not feeling safe, just yell out Whitechapel. It's because uh, I found a little story which I thought was fascinating uh, as somebody that enjoys uh, reading about and historical uh, serial killers. Oh, geez, uh, yeah, the Whitechapel murder. The Whitechapel right? murders of oh, Jack yeah. the Ripper. Oh. It turns out oh, that we go. uh, Gandhi was in London during the three years that Jack the Ripper yeah. was active. Yeah, it was secret agent Gandhi. He was over there from 1888 to 1891, mm-hmm. and that's the same three-year period that Jack the Ripper was active, and it stopped after Gandhi left and went back. Oh, I don't stop. know if he went back to India. <laughs> so one wow. cannot rule out uh, Gandhi so I guess as right. Jack the Ripper. Yeah. He no, can't yeah, be ruled yeah. out until they figure that's out no, his... Man, that's how probability <laughs> works, uh, You know, right. and, and, and it could have been a penguin. And and it could have been a penguin. In right? an alternate universe, it was him. I think oh, so. Man. I think there needs to be a graphic novel or something with Gandhi. Well, I, I really mean, like Gandhi. <laughs> there, I do too. There, there, I know. I know. <laughs> there's a there's an animated Batman movie called Batman by Batman by Gaslight. I yes. think. Yeah, Gotham by Gas. Yeah. Gotham by yeah, Gaslight. That's, that's what it was. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I totally yeah, thought I knew who it was, yeah. and I'm like, oh, it's gonna be so and so. And I'm like, mm-hmm. and it wasn't at yeah. all who I thought it was gonna be. That was really well done. Yeah. That was really well done. So uh, if you boys are not feeling safe, just yell out Whitechapel. Well, we'll Whitechapel. <laughs> Whitechapel. Stop yeah. this here program. Yeah. Uh, boys. Yeah, last time, yeah, last time was it, War Elephants. Mean, it's a lot of celebrations. War Elephants, I know. Or is it White I, Chappelle? I it could be White yeah, Chappelle. Yeah, White Chappelle. Depending, oh. on, depending on what part of the country you come from. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, just try on a new voice. It's, it's yeah. our responsibility it's nice. to figure out what the fuck you're saying. Sometimes it's nice to yeah. kind of just enunciate differently. Oh, right? sure. No, no, yeah. no, no. We do radio and drama. Right. <laughs> Chapelle. <laughs> Make it up as you go along. Uh, boys, special occasion today. Well, it's not today, I don't think, but uh, somebody's birthday day uh, is Saturday. right around the corner. Sa- this coming Saturday. Well, so when you guys are watching this, it'll actually have been last Saturday. Yeah, but, yeah. Mm. but happy Where's birthday, it? Mr. Todd. Uh, glad to see that you're 25 again. I didn't uh, go all out because I just didn't have time, but I did find you a little something at oh, a store um, that I think you'll enjoy. It's Star Wars related. Oh. oh. So go ahead and flip Everybody can see this before I do. There you go. There you go. Yeah. That's the right way. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That's great. <laughs> Oh, good. I think it's a local artist. He signed it in the bottom, and there's a little card in there that tells you. Yeah, it tells you all about it. He's got a whole bunch of different ones. (laughs) (laughs) 
I mean, he's up, bro. He's up. You, 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 you know, you know that Vader is all about the tea parties, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the what's the uh, artist's name again? It says on the back here, Kyle's Gallery. Okay. So I don't so know. I think it's Kyle's or yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, Go Kyle's check Gallery. It out. Com. He's got a lot of fun ones. Yeah, I'm sure he's got some other cool Vader's ones, too. Cool as fun. I'm going to have to get <laughs> Vader's Vader's one. I mean, he's the apex villain of our age. So, uh, do we sing happy birthday to Todd? You, Todd you can. Yes, yeah, so. it's on, on a one and a two. And happy, happy birthday, dear Todd. Uh, sing along, everybody. Day to you. Happy birthday, dear Todd. Todd. Happy birthday to you. I really do appreciate that, guys. Yeah. I was not ex- I was not planning on doing anything for my birthday other than maybe watching Star Wars. I was oh, oh, nice. I was going to just get up, hit play on on the on the Plex server and just let it play all day. Episode Are you gonna 4 do- starts right after yeah, yeah. he leaves that vacation spot. <laughs> yeah. He's pissed that he has to go back to work. Yeah, he gets called like, back you to want work. Me to get on that rebel ship right yeah. now. I think, just stole the plans. I think just stole the plans. I think it's right after Padme uh, dies. Uh, that one. No. He's out having a little. He, w- he went back out to the out to the fields that they were frolicking in. Oh, that's oh, right, yeah. right, because they got married right in those little fields. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. my God. Well, happy birthday, uh, everybody! Uh, comment and wish Todd a happy yes. birthday. Yes, please. We'd love to see Thank it. You. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And uh, the and fire department's yeah. sending you out on some their, love on their, too. On their way. Good luck, guys. And, and I all right. apologize for last week's uh, audio not being. Oh, I, we don't know what it was. Uh, I, I I just assume it had something to do with the well, board. I don't know because uh, it, in the video Ooh. it looks like it's plugged in, and over there I, I know it was plugged Holy in. Holy so. shit, man! That's, that's, pretty, man, that's cool. pretty cool. Is that fifty-eight? I couldn't tell. Hey, Todd, you. there's your real birthday. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> don't don't get his hopes up, man. man don't do that, that kind of me. money. Jeez, boys, you want to jump into some uh, headlines? Headlines. Man, it has headlines. been a crazy fucking news yeah, week. Because there's like, there's like uh, here's the big story of the week, and then all of a sudden, it's not the big story of the week. Yeah, no, every, right? Every it, was, it was in the news cycle for, what, 30 seconds, and then something else pops up? Yes. So what are we talking about? Well, uh, Trump assassination part two, the sequel. Something, yeah. But the funny thing, and not funny because it's never funny, yeah, but no, the guy yeah. probably didn't break in. Any laws? Yeah. He well, he wasn't supposed to. That's why he's except, getting charged for gun laws. Yes, except yeah. for he wasn't allowed to have any a gun. Good laws. But in Florida, you can carry around a long rifle. Right. Yeah. The, the other I, thing he's is, a felon. He, he might be he, trespassing. He, and, he was, uh, yeah. And unlawful he could, he could say of a, a firearm funny, stuff, strange, yeah. not funny, haha. Yeah, funny, strange. He got that, an explosives charge. Back in the day, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And he a locked himself in a business shirts. or something yeah. and was, like, holding yeah. people hostage I, or some shit. I didn't know anything about that. I saw yeah. so many people say they fully expected the, the, the person trying to assassinate him the second time being a Swifty because... It happened. It happened yeah. after. Yeah. It yeah. happened. She went total like <laughs> Sith. It, 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 it happened after he <laughs> said, "I hate Taylor yeah. Swift on yeah. on True Social." Yeah, yeah I thought and about just, that today, and that is a real thing. That the, really yes. happened. He spent brain calories to to, to type out to in all caps. Yes, in all caps. Yeah, it's just nuts. It's nuts, and he's like seventy nine years old, yes. right? Not yeah. the demographic. Yes. Of a Taylor I Swift. I mean, but did you know that a Gen Z is the largest potential? Voting plot. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the United yeah. States, yeah. yeah, forty million and Americans. Both Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift have come out, and I think Beyonce and all those yeah. are always on record as supporting. Well, yeah, we should get Billie yeah. Eilish uh, on the show. <laughs> Taylor, yeah, Taylor Swift actually responded about the uh, that his. Do you call them tweets? What do you call those? Uh, the truther, the truth social? Yeah. Posts yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Some, but some she, 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 she posted a song, oh. a, you know, in talking basically about his post. And I don't know if it was like pre-recorded yeah, yeah. or if it was just, it, it lined up it's nicely. It's smart though on his uh, campaign's part. Because then, if she does mention him by name, that's hundreds of millions yes. of guaranteed views. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, if it's part of the campaign thing, yeah. I kind of get that. If it's him just know. being mad at her for some not real reason, she's not doing anything a citizen shouldn't no. do. No. Right? It's like. But I'm watching, I'm watching the news, and, 
and, and I can't remember them, yeah. who it was last night, but uh, they were absolutely right. Uh, either last night or the night before, Trump is campaigning in Long Island, New York, hmm. where Long Island, New York might be a hotbed of Trumpism, but New York State's not going to vote for Trump. So why is he uh, campaigning in fucking New York who, State? Well, why not I, in Pennsylvania? Yeah, why not in Georgia? Making contacts. Yeah, yeah, I would I don't say know. spending time in, I, I would say Michigan for that guy. Michigan? Yeah, he used to try to win Michigan. That's a really big hard. one for him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's part of the Rust Belt that the Democrats need. And uh, 100%. again, you know, but Harris we, is no super prize. the third path Democrats, right? Yeah. They were the corporate sellout Democrats and they, they stepped away from being actual progressivism and actual populism. Mm-hmm. Not the fake pseudo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, feudalism yeah. That, yeah. that masks itself as populism. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. But that guy, uh, you know, he had uh, he had a rifle, like that, America. had a Stop rifle it. through the yeah. fence, and an then AK, model. Yeah. AK yeah. and then the Secret Service were because Trump was moving up to the next, yeah. and it's it's shit, yeah. right? No, nobody should. And he shouldn't be on a golf course. Well, it should be massively protected. I hate to say it, yeah, and I don't like the job. guy. That's a, I, I just but he's got a fifty percent chance of winning right now. He does as being the next oh, yeah. president. I don't want JD Vance to be our president, dude. No, God, so that's, no. Uh, a consideration that's not being talked about, and yeah, we gotta uh, make the house work. Yeah, right. The 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 House of Representatives is not functioning. Yeah, not it's ridiculous, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, I mean it's just borderline criminal. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So would so you say it takes to do that? So would you say this guy really it wasn't an assassination attempt? It was oh, more yeah, it a was. assassination attempt concept or a concept no, of an assassination a, it was a attempt? Concept of a plan. It is a concept of a plan that he, well he was quite he was determined and he, he might be a meth head or something maybe he's on I just or, I don't think he's something. Playing with the full know. deck. What's yeah. really weird is he is a Trump supporter. I don't know. He's, there's don't videos know of that. him talking about yeah. before he did this even. Hmm. He's you know uh. pro Trump and all this other things. And he there's hmm. his social media has him wearing Trump gear. Really? Yeah. I thought it was a little thing. different. I thought it was uh, he was more. Uh, I think he said he voted for Trump in 2016, yeah. but then changed his mind when he uh, when he fell in line with Putin. I yeah. think this guy's a Putin hater. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, because he went to Ukraine. Yeah. This yeah. guy went and to he Ukraine. Believe, he didn't get why Matt and I have people who did too, mm-hmm. right? It's like, and they weren't wrong. It's just like, yeah. I don't know if I want to shoot people in the name of somebody else's country necessarily, yeah. but yeah. I get it. And Russia is, you know, terribly aggressive and dangerous. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like. Yeah. yeah. But, but what was, about, but what about, but what about, it's like, fuck off, Russia's a par, uh, uh, pariah state. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like, but they happen to be sitting on vast quantities of oil, so everybody's like, okay. And oil and, offer, and nuclear uh, weapons. More than 20% of the world's fresh water. Yeah. I think it's in one lake. Is that all and there? And the rest of it is, is spread about the country. Man. Yeah. Well, no, they have crazy. vast resources. Yeah. Wait, you, know you said I mean? they have nukes? I thought they, I no, thought fuck, they, they got thousands of nukes. I thought they thousands. got rid of all that because of no we don't know if they work or not right well uh, yeah but they have them they have them so you gotta play it you gotta play it close to the best yes and if just like with uh, saddam hussein holding all these disparate groups together sometimes when they're all psychos you have to be the super psycho you know what i mean it's a good point so putin's the fucking (laughs) super psycho because i mean it's a vast empire right so they all have to be afraid of him yeah all of them yeah including the billionaires and the billionaire russian gangsters right they're scared of putin Fuck. Yeah. And he makes sure they get what they want. And he always right. wins by like seventy-two oh, percent yeah. or something, right? <laughs> he, isn't, he, isn't he one like the yeah. North Korea guy? He always yeah. oh my God. wins so by eighty-six yeah, percent yeah. or some so crazy thing. And the like fourteen percent disappear the next day. And it's like they just want to, you know, scoot some guys off. <laughs> yeah. the, we just need the to thin rolls. the population yeah. out a little oh, bit. Man. No, no, no. I don't want to be one of the fourteen percent. My God, uh, I did see, and no. this is kind of off topic. It's kind of same topic, but uh, yeah. I did see some interesting analysis last night. I don't remember who it was from, but uh, talking about uh, the the laws that are like, especially in Georgia, like the election uh, 
uh, panel in Georgia is trying to change all these rules, right? Yes. And even Brad Raffsenberger, yeah. who is the Secretary of State yeah. of Georgia, is like, yeah, he has a lot. Stop doing this, yeah. right? It's too close to be changing all these rules. Too close to the election to change all these rules and to all where this they stuff. They can say, no, we don't want to certify these. Right. We don't so want that's to ratify that's these. the thought: is Trump do doesn't need to win. The, the popular, he doesn't need to even win the Electoral College if he has two or three states that are controlled by Republican. Uh, not, yeah, they, yeah, or whatever they are. That Vegas. they can just yeah. refuse to yeah. certify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If and Trump then, doesn't win, they can say nobody won. Right. And yeah. then it goes to uh, the House of Representatives, which is controlled by yeah. Republicans, or and or it goes to the Supreme Court. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then, boom, I dictator for life. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. yeah. I just it but, makes no that's sense the thing to me because he'll get you know, he's not going to last much longer anyway. Right? No, so like, but then yeah, Vance is young, man. Yeah. Vance is young yeah. and has shown us he has no uh, personal integrity. No, he will do whatever no. the the powers that are pushing him along will have him do. So do you? Right? Do you he's just a lion sack of shit. Do you guys think that these assassination attempts are trying to get people to like? Like sympathize with him for some reason, or well, there was a lot of like uh, uh, memes in uh, political cartoons where uh, you know Trump's like, "Great job, uh, how are my poll numbers?" <laughs> like you well, know, and, getting and that if, sympathy. If this had happened to Joe Biden, you had better believe there'd be it's a it's a false flag. Red flag yeah, it's a false flag. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you know isn't, I mean? That, this, isn't that isn't that what happened with, with uh, Reagan after he got shot? The, like everybody, yeah, his popularity went up. Billions yeah. of guns on this planet, yeah. and there's a bunch of fucking just nut jobs, just nutty enough yeah. to run with it, yeah. given the chance. Yeah. And being on a golf course is dangerous because it's, you know what I mean? It's like yes. there's no it's it's wide open. hundreds of yards because they're all oh, rifles. They'll do open. a oh. thousand meters, no yeah. problem. I, yeah. I no just, problem. I right? had a it's great like, idea for a meme, and it was a last minute thing. And their job is just that close knit protection. Yes, like getting stabbed. If he was hit. president. They would have had yeah. the whole well, golf course that, yeah. closed and well, surrounded. And they, and all a that lot stuff. of that stuff is the local police. Yeah. That's why you don't go to a fucking golf course. Yeah. So, so right? I think you we go should to an easily maintainable space. Take yeah. screenshots from uh, Caddyshack Two with Dan Aykroyd as the. Uh, Oh, didn't he have a? Uh, he had a he had a he had a, a crossbow, I think. That's right. Oh, <laughs> he, and he was trying to get the the, the gopher. The gopher just and made nice. Trump as the gopher. Nice. Yeah. Jesus. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, and that are. that wasn't even like the uh, the biggest news story to me was the it's pagers. Huge. It's huge. Yeah, well, that's a whole nother so. Too. And the radio. Just the fact that, that, that pages can be used, uh, which means phones, this is any like of the a above fucking, can be used. This as is like a, a fucking yeah, James Bond yeah. Act of terror genius evil is. plan. I know. It was it like, is. what? When when they started reporting on it, yeah. I was like, what in the fuck is going on? Because are you really able to precisely control who gets that Signal. That's what I don't know. Yeah, did did I don't know. Hezbollah order a case of I pagers did, yeah. and I then mean, yeah. Mossad intercepted them and planted all yeah, these bombs I mean, and then gave no it to way. them and they're like, how? oh, here's your pagers. Yeah. I think, I mean, if we've seen this kind of thing in, in yeah, movies yeah. over yeah. the decades, man, where they would That's just, what I'm saying. It's like a James Bond evil yeah. genius. Is he attach a piece of, uh, you know, C4 or whatever to, to, a, to a cell phone or whatever. Yeah, like an extra ounce. Yes. Huh. It, it all, oh, I don't it, know how it, all it needs is then, power to come to like a signal receive receiver thing, and then the receiver ignites the explosion. Yeah, so they supposedly they dialed in a special number or something, and it sat there and vibrated for a long time. And then when they went to switch it off, mm -hmm. is what I'm hearing. Uh, that's what triggered the bomb. Hmm. And it was at a certain time of day, and it happened all at once. Yeah. So here's the thing, too, is uh, uh, Hezbollah decided not to use cell phones anymore because they didn't want yeah. to be tracked. And they, they thought Mossad found a way through. They could yeah. do, do, like, yeah. fucking uh, uh, missile right oh, into the, oh. if they're using their phone. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Send a cruise missile, I right? Space lasers. Space, whatever. Yeah. They, I mean, they're, you know, Sharks with lasers on them. Yes. Yeah. So not only do you take away their cell phones by this, right? Then you give them another means of communication, which is the pagers, yeah. and you not only kill and wound a bunch of them, but now they're like communication yeah. dead. Yeah. Yeah. The walkie talkies. And then two days later, they're at a funeral with walkie talkies, and the, yeah. those blow up. Yeah. 
they're like never going to touch touch technology again yeah jeez yeah, i don't it's Man. just that's, i mean it's mad kind of genius funny. shit I, it is it is but still this dr evil like, type shit i don't yes. know and unless they let's say they had a list of bad guys just for argument's sake right and uh they got 99.9 percent of them and only a small percentage of you know non-targeted people right mm-hmm. innocence they call them yeah, yeah, yeah. uh but yeah, I, I think it's a trip. But that's better than dropping a bomb on a. Well, it doesn't. It I didn't. Know, I saw some of them blow up. Like and there it was. Bowl's a group. Right. That's not so, a religious order. No. It's like they're a, they're a you know. An but they, haven't they been militant group? They're they've been designated as a yeah. terrorist organization, yes, right? They're not a yes. government. They're not. They're not playing by the same no. rules. You know who an IDF is? Yeah. The, right. You know who a U.S. Army guy is? Right. The, the like, other thing I was going to say is. Uh, it's actually in the game Grand Theft Auto Five, mm-hmm. where someone uses a cell phone as a as a detonator or a bomb of some sort. Mm, I yeah. never heard of it. I never thought of it. And, and yeah. legitimately, this is one of the first things you do in that game. Oh, you have to scary, you have to uh, you have to install some software into the phone, hmm. and then when he gets the phone call Man. and he answers it, it blows. it blows up and yeah. basically takes his head off. Yeah, this I mean, this was months in the making. Right oh, to make this yeah. happen, yeah. and I'm I'm telling you, who are, there's some guy there. Somebody got a promotion. Out. Yes, yeah. Like did did but the still, and hard. then the yeah. radios. I was like, wait, yeah. they did the radios too. Yeah. It's like, man, that's chess. I, that's that's chess. serious chess. I mean, th- and I'm not yeah. you know condoning know. it at all. Uh, I'm just thinking it's mad genius. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, not yeah. It's, not, that's yeah. that's something out of a James Bond film. Yeah. For sure. but, but has has a lot of agents have been fired indiscriminate fucking yes. rockets, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, for a long fucking time. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Those are also, right? Yeah. And much more randomized. And, and then the leader of Hezbollah goes out to make a speech afterwards, and then they shoot uh, artillery and cruise missiles at his ass. I, I actually, that oh, man. reminds I me. planes over. That reminds they, me of a story I read last year about uh, how they were making, uh, like, uh, small drones that are, the carry, the carry. Oh, I don't know, little of, suicide drones. Yeah, yeah, not? yeah. Like two ounces they, or whatever. Yeah. They, 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 they look like it. a locust oh, or something. Humans. Yeah, and, it, oh. and you yeah. see it coming, and you think it's just a bug or whatever. And once it gets close enough, it explodes. Until it lands on the still, back of your yeah. neck. And oh, yeah, if it's doing twenty-five miles an hour up until it just goes zoop right next yeah. to you, you know, yeah, yeah. you're not getting out of yeah. there. And if like, it's light enough, a small battery to get yeah. it there. I need Doctor Doom armor. Right? Yeah. It's the only answer. Either Doctor Doom or you know Iron Man armor, which is essentially Iron Man armor is cool too, yeah. actually. But Man. I mean, I, the older I get, the more I sympathize with Doctor Doom. To be honest, yeah, like I <laughs> these people are just dumb. Oh man. Uh, yeah, just it just nuts. The whole story is just nuts, and uh, you know, obviously everybody wants peace in that region, and uh, I don't know how to no, achieve it. But is, it's a just bombing is a massive. Uh, yes, no, it's just a, the exclamation point on yeah. a failure, my a failure God. of our humanity every single time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Every is. single time. It's yeah, just, yeah. It's oh awful. man, every shot fired. Yeah. yeah. Uh, boys, uh, in kind of more political news, this was kind of interesting, but Eddie Grant. Uh, gonna uh, uh, walk down to oh, yeah, Electric great, so. Avenue. I visited once in a while. Um, sure. Trump has just lost the lawsuit that Eddie Grant started because uh, Trump used that in a campaign tweet hmm. like years ago. Yeah. And it went to court, and uh, first Trump's lawyer said no, they had every right to use it because they paid the whatever, and that turned out to be not true. And then they said, oh, the guy doesn't even have copyright on it. Well, the court found that he does have copyright on a compilation album or All something, right. yeah. and the song was on there. Right. So, like, nope, he's got copyright. So now it's just down to the damages. Right. So yeah. uh, Eddie Grant can, uh, they can agree, and they can say, we'll give you a hundred grand, or we'll give you whatever. Or they can take it in front of a jury, and okay. the jury gets to decide what yeah. the damages are. So, right. Uh, but it's interesting that this has been going on for so long. But uh, folks out there, whatever political spectrum you are, if you don't like Trump or Harris or anybody using your music, if you're an artist yeah. and you disagree with what somebody's using your music for, 
Stand up for yourself, right. man. Wow. Absolutely, and man. And copyright your shit. And copyright your copyright shit. Copyright stuff. Yes. It's not that expensive. It's not that yes. hard. Yeah. And uh, it's just a better idea. And do it before you sign that contract with the yeah, record well, company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. even put it out. You know, yes. I mean, out, out. Yeah, have it out. I mean, uh, at the very least, whoever has the copyright should be the one saying, fuck that. Right. No. Yeah. Because somebody else could be, yeah, could just turn it into something that, it, that you don't like. Right? Yeah. Man, well, uh, speaking of, I don't know what, uh, the Fed just cut rates. Half a point? Half a point. That's a big deal. Uh, first yeah. time in four years, which is uh, great news for, I think, the economy, but it also shows that the economy has some strength. There was a bunch of conservative commentators that came out and said, oh, they shouldn't have done this too close to the election because it'll make Biden look good or make Harris look good, right? Or they should have only cut it. But by not doing it. Cut it a quarter now uh, and then a quarter after the election, uh, which is all just crap. right? No, and I think Jerome Powell is apolitical. Yes. He's not into it. That's I not don't think he at is no, at all. Not at all. No. And no. They, they are. I mean, men love or hate him. There's a million different reasons to yeah. want to not have a Fed or whatever, but the, these guys in particular, no, they're they're not. They're not I don't think so. Put their thumb on the scale. Yeah. They're not. They're not. They're not at all. Oh and because everybody's like, and so where's this recession? Biggest recession of all time. Nonsense. Doesn't happen. Didn't happen. It really was that soft landing. Yeah. And I know shit's expensive. Don't right. get me wrong. I'm, yeah, not, no. I'm a yeah. fucking poor person. Yeah, yeah. Right? But, uh, yeah. So I understand. We're, we're still paying yeah. higher prices than we did and, and we just are, a few years ago. And we don't ago. have an economy that works for the Everybody. majority of Americans. Yes. Yes. And we're watching the dismantling, have watched yes. the dismantling of the middle class. Yes. Right? All of that is true. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. But I guarantee you, these fake populists are not really in it no. to help you win. No, they don't give a shit about promise. you. I promise. Yeah. At least with yeah, yeah. the uh, the Democrats, you can kind of squeeze yeah. them towards social good sometimes. Yeah. Even right? Trump came out today and said, uh, yeah. or yesterday and said, uh, he wants to repeal the uh, salt tax uh, uh, cut. Um, reinstate it because it would because it makes him look good to middle class again it's the uh uh it's and he did it because he was trying to punish blue states but it's basically states that tax you for uh uh, uh income and sales tax it's sales tax oh exemption uh, exemption uh, 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 uh. Yeah. So there used to yeah. be an exemption where you could write off your sales tax yes. or your your yes. local state, state income, income tax. tax. You could yep. write it off and, and then get a tax break from the federal government. Well, his big tax cut a few years ago took that away mm -hmm. and didn't allow you to do it. Uh -huh. Now he's saying, I want to give it back. I want to put it back out there because he wants to make it look like he's trying to help the middle class. Uh -huh. But then all the economists are going, well, if you just cut uh -huh. that. And do yeah, nothing else, no. you're gonna yeah, you're, exactly. you're gonna balloon but the that, deficit but, again. But the, or guarantee austerity measures. Yeah. Where they're like, we just can't afford Medicare. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. Though it's yeah exactly. A, a pretty fucking efficient system. And it's not right? even tax dollars. Everybody yeah, cetera, pays cetera, it cetera, separate. Cetera. I know. Everybody I, pays into yeah. it. Yeah. But, Did you guys hear about the uh, the movie that's being made about Trump? It's been made with uh, Sebastian Stan. Yeah, yeah. They it came out in the spring. They went to Cannes. Oh, yeah, they, with they it. did a Kickstarter. Con. They did a Kickstarter for it, and it, and it, and it got funded. Oh, they did because I knew that they were having a hard time finding uh, distribution for it because everybody. This, the thought was everybody was a little afraid to touch it. Yeah. Right, they didn't want to put a bunch of money into it, try to get it out there. But it, when's it come out? I, you know, I have, I, Chris told me about it yesterday, and he didn't have like any kind of release date. Okay. Just that it, it's, it's funded by Kickstarter, yeah. and uh, I think if anything, they're going to just put it on on Amazon or one of the other streets. Oh, that makes sense. So Sebastian or, Stan, uh, Winter Soldier himself, yeah. plays Trump in the '80s, and yeah. he's being mentored by uh, Roy Khan. Yes, yeah. and it's all about the mentor. <laughs> relationship Roger, you know? I don't remember yeah, uh, yeah I saw the trailer oh, for it and he looks just yeah. like Trump did back in the 80s yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy and uh, and Stone Roger Stone's been in this yeah. a long time too that's yeah. true yeah, yeah. I, I absolutely oh, want to see this George though. Soros <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How about the Mercers? Yeah. How about I, a, I don't like you know I, mean? I don't like Soros or anybody injecting yeah. that much money into politics, right? Take it all away. Well, I heard that, <laughs> that, yeah, he takes every single frog and brings them to nightclubs, and that's how they turn gay. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Don Joros, make the frogs gay. <laughs> oh, you're doing you're doing uh, that guy. Okay, <laughs> making the frogs gay. <laughs> Have you heard the remix of of of, of that? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh my no. god. Yeah. And I'm oh uh, man. Infowars. What this thing? Alex Jones. Win in the Jones. Jones, right? Is it? Huh? Is reason. Is reason and logic going? Are they going to win in the end? I don't know. Are we I don't know. Are we doomed? Are we totally doomed? Is that what you're saying? I about it the other day. Are we going uh, back into the into the dark ages? Uh, we we've, we've barely not been in the depth of the dark ages, right? The age of reason is a tiny blip yeah. in history. Yeah, yeah. A blee boo blee boo blue boo boo blip. The age of reason? Are you shitting me? They were burning motherfuckers at the stake in in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Not that long ago. I think they know? were crushed by rocks. I don't think anybody got burned at the stake. Oh, I think that's, that's a but. Right. But they yeah, still yeah. got or crushed drowned. by rocks. Yeah. They had, yeah. Or, yeah. or they were drowned. Yeah. Yeah. Drowned yeah. by water. The whole, yeah. like, the, what from some water? <laughs> I think I think the Ducks. burning at the stake thing was over in Europe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're still waterboarding people today, right? Yeah. <laughs> I would assume. Yeah. 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 Well, not the Our Town podcast. No, no, not, not us. Oh, yeah, not we, us. No, we, no. we don't. Uh, it's <laughs> extra. You, if you, you want to pay us to waterboard you, we might. You oh, know, man. that sounds pretty I cool. don't know. I'm not going to kink shame somebody. How much? How much? <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you, I you have to. 20 bucks in a cheeseburger. We're going to have to make you sign a waiver so we're, oh, not, yeah. we're oh, not responsible yeah. for yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any long-term effects. Oh, my God. Speaking of kink shaming, <laughs> uh, Sean Diddy Combs, 54-year-old oh, no, Sean Diddy cr- Combs, got behavior. arrested on Monday yeah. night. Yeah, geez, I don't know oh, anything man. about that guy I, at all. Nothing. You I know what's really funny about. is in the last month or so, I've been, anytime I was go- going into uh, the VR world and go into a room full of, if you go into any any world that has a bunch of little kids and they see an adult show up and say, are you here for the duty party? I'm like, what the fuck are you even talking about? I don't know what that means. I think they're like Is the, it one of his uh, ancient Roman freak orgies. out sessions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you call it? So they're, and, yeah, they were referring to his parties and, <laughs> yeah. and how he would have young... <laughs> to freak young, out. Uh, the, I was like trying to figure out what the... F- Fuck, he was arrested. I know it was a sealed indictment for the Southern District of New York yeah, and stuff I, like I that. Know. But it's come out that, uh, like, during his arrest, they found uh, ecstasy and a bunch of other drugs in his 1, hotel room. 1,000 bottles of a baby oil. Fucking lube. 1,000 <laughs> bottles of lube plus uh, AR-15. Uh, well, maybe he got that during the pandemic, just in case there was a short. They found a bunch of AR-15s plus, with the serial know. numbers I removed. Mean, some uh, moisturizing, you know? I mean... <laughs> yeah. I mean <laughs> Uh, no, they found weapons that were obviously yes. illegal or whatever. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can have those type of guns in New York, right? Is I don't know. New York City, where is he at? Probably I New York. Southern District in New York is like... I think he is in New York, uh, yeah. yeah but, so, but I don't know what they went there for. They didn't go there for guns. No. They just found them. My understanding is he's yeah. been accused of intimidating witnesses, used his power and wealth to coerce Vote women. Vote or die, motherfucker. Vote uh, or die. Coerce women into his orbit and then use force threats and coercion to force them into sex acts. What's so, the charge, though, do you know? Uh, uh, sex trafficking, oh, well, forced okay. labor, oh, oh, kidnapping, oh, oh. and arson. I don't know what he what he arsoned, uh, but also uh, uh, other crimes that they just uh, caught somebody's stuff on fire. Yes, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. It's just fucking nuts. Yeah. Well, geez, it, beats me. Do you, huh? either of you remember that that voting campaign that he did? Yeah. Vote or die. Hmm. They made was fun. that him or was that no, that, that was, was him? That yeah. was him. Yeah. I was thinking that was Ye, but uh, no, 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 that, that was that was, was Diddy. Diddy. And what's really funny is the best thing about that was that South Park made fun of it, and it was. The whole like, it was that episode where they were the kids had to vote on a new mascot for their school because this, the mascot was inappropriate or it was, you know, whatever. So they had to choose between a giant douche and a turd sandwich. Nice. <laughs> and, and Kyle was like, "I'm not voting." Or Stan was like, "I'm not voting for either one because both of them are fucking stupid." And then and Diddy shows up and says, like, "Vote or die, motherfucker!" Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, I think fame and wealth and all that shit went to his head. I don't. I mean, uh, well, hopefully he gets geez. a fair. Yeah, I mean, he oh, got money yeah, for yeah. lawyers, so yeah. that's the best we can hope for. Yeah. Decent, was, was he Illuminati or is he just Illuminati adjacent? 
I don't know. A thousand bottles of lube and baby oil. A thousand <laughs> bottles well, the, of lube. The big question How is big are the bottles, though? Yeah. Are, they, are they airplane yeah. bottles or are they, or are they Costco-sized bottles? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, well, is any of it on film? That's the only question that matters. <laughs> if there's mass celebrities going in there and or government people and or who knows? Yeah. It, right? It's like... I don't know. Oh my he God. could have a lot of leverage. Yeah. So, right? It's like, yeah. Plus, I think he's very wealthy. I think so, he's mass yeah. money, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. That should help. I don't know if he's quite a billionaire, but <laughs> yeah, I know he's I got mean, hundreds plus, of millions. Yeah, of he can afford the best got legal it. teams on the planet. Yeah. I mean, OJ had nowhere near his wealth. The relative wealth? No way. No, we're not even, even if close. you, Yeah, not even, even if you do the not adjustments for... He was for, doing a, a naked gun movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like 300 bucks. And Hertz commercials and shit. Yeah. Yeah. That was early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was he was a lot more know. wealth than the three of us combined, OJ, no, but he, he, he afforded the big old, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, Combs is like... Well, plus there was, uh, that was a great <laughs> launching pad for any law team, right? Because it was yeah. the most sized event. Yeah. He gave you us know? Kim Kardashian and the Kardashians, <laughs> right? It did? Because his her dad was one oh, of the legal yeah. team. Yeah. So he got some notoriety from that. Oh, so, yeah. talking about Kim's dad uh, and yeah, OJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Jeez. I'm right. much more mad at celebrities since I'm not one. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Uh, so uh, we, we do all... have about 10,000 followers on the Facebook. Do we do? But yes. That's hot. Almost 11. No, almost 11. Oh, man. We're getting there. Yeah. A couple yeah. more weeks, we'll get to oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. we, now we need to focus over on the Instagrams. No. A sharp I, my personal hygiene isn't to where I would be invited to a giant sex party. <laughs> Yeah, you feel like he's cool even on the bus. It's okay, but that's, I feel like that's as close as we're getting with. I Boston. feel like I get invited, and then once I got there, be like, okay, here's some towels. Just wander around and. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, it'd be like, no, no, pizza deliveries in the back door, man. <laughs> the, the lemon scented handy wipes. <laughs> so, madame. <laughs> Can I interest you in a lemon scented handy wipe? <laughs> is, is, didn't, didn't that kind of, didn't, wasn't that in one of Eddie Murphy's movies where he shows up at a place and he's wearing the same, the same color clothing as, is like the, the servers and stuff, and they thought he was like a... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I remember seeing it somewhere. Oh, my God. We all need a shower after talking about this Diddy story, so... Oh, man. Moving on, boys. Uh, we talked about uh, the passing of the great uh, James Earl Jones yeah, last week, and I think yeah. Todd mentioned something about how much money he made for Star Wars. It was like six grand for like... Uh, his seven uh, yeah. is what the news reported, but I didn't know this. Uh, his role only took two and a half hours to record yeah. for the first movie. He got paid seven grand yeah. for two and a half hours, which I'd take that yeah, all he day have, long. In episode four, he doesn't have that many lines. Right? No. Not really. No, not yeah. at all. Not I mean, really. I mean, most of it's the... And that's not even him. That's the sound that's design. That's what I'm saying, guy. yeah. The sound design guy. Oh, that's so good. It's, he was so, so good. menacing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. so good. Have you seen the yeah. video footage oh. of the, the lines being said by... Uh, uh, David Prowse, no, big, big, tall Scottish yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, you know, and and you could hear him clear as day saying the lines, but it just didn't really, it didn't sound the same until you hear that James Earl Jones oh, bass, so bassy voice in, the, yeah. It's funny because uh, Darth Vader. Uh, had to be voiced by one actor, uh, in the suit by There's another like actor, <laughs> breathing by another actor. Uh, when they finally removed the mask, a whole other actor. Oh, yeah. So there was there was the voice, there was the guy, the actor within the costume, then there was the stunt double, and then there was the guy who was the face of, of yeah. Anakin's older Anakin. Right, right, yeah. right. Who was that guy? Uh, Shaw, Sebastian Shaw. Mm. Oh, jeez, good call. And he just had like the five minutes of He's like, yeah, three I minutes. Of, I wanted to see and then with they my even real eye. And the next one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And yeah oh, yeah, they edited oh, him out that's right. and yes. replaced him with he, with Anakin because he had Qui Gon showed him how to do it in the afterlife yeah, yeah. or something. Mm, uh, no, but I mean, why they, come back as your younger self with Yoda and? Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Obi-Wan didn't come back as right? a Right, exactly. So. Why the fuck did yeah. that? It didn't yeah, make that any never sense. made any sense to me. Mm. And I, and oh, I, unless, though. Because that's when he was Anakin. Yeah. He came back as Anakin. Yeah. Vader. What it is is because. He was Vader. Because the, the prequels totally came out and he was trying to. The thing is that George Lucas was trying to, like, make all these. Make the, the old movies fit within the new ones and yeah, they didn't no, do a very good so. job of it so he was no. all right well we're gonna we're gonna yeah. edit out these scenes and change a couple things and add something new that we didn't have before I have hand step on uh java's, java's tail, tail. Yeah. Like, yeah that was so bad yeah. Yeah. I, re- I remember seeing that that behind that that scene back in the early 80s my mom rented a reel to reel and we watched the movie totally and then we watched cool. the uh the behind the scenes and the making of that's and uh they showed the the original footage was like some fat Irish or yeah, not, it Scottish guy yeah, and like yeah. wearing like uh, pelts of uh, with fur and stuff on. And he's like, uh, I was like, oh, that's a that's a cool bad guy. And then then you see the next movie and that character is now a giant slug. I'm like, yeah. okay, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did he did he fall off the wagon? He started yeah. eating more. No, he went and had wine at Jim Henson's house. He's like <laughs> ten foot. He's got to be five feet high. Ten oh. feet long. Jim's oh. Like, Okay. And we're going to have Leia yeah. in a golden bikini. Oh, yeah. Well, so, I really like where this is going. I, I know what happened. I know what happened. It, have you seen the movie Tusk? That's what happened to the guy. He, he, oh, they put him in the suit. They put him in the they suit. They sewed him into it. Yeah. <laughs> they made him into a giant slug. Oh, yeah. my God. Well, boys, speaking of space, some science news. And I thought this was fascinating. Uh, the uh, Voyager 1 that launched in like 77. Oh, it's incredible. Is like 12 or 15. B- b- billion miles away from Earth. Well, they're space miles. They're space miles, but they're 15 billion miles away it's from insane. Earth. It's yeah. been past. I mean, they went past. Uh, what was it? They went past uh, Jupiter in. Uh, wow. Oh, I forget. But it was like in the 80s, right? Yeah, they're, in, they're outside of even like Pluto. Right? Yes. They're outside of our whatever that's called. Yes. Yeah, the, the, they're almost to they're heading yeah, towards the ring, right? Yeah, they're the, still part of our solar system, right? Yeah. Because so is the Oort cloud and all that. Right, 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 right. Way right. the fuck that's out That's what I there. meant, yeah. And I don't know if he can survive going through there. Uh, who knows? Right, really but nobody know. ever thought that this thing was going to survive this yeah, long yeah, anyway. But I guess there's three separate sets of thrusters, and they need the thrusters to be able to maneuver the probe uh, back so the antenna can point to Earth, so they can still communicate mm. with it. Sure. So every once in a while, they have to adjust the thrusters. Well, over the years, certain thrusters have, like, clogged. Right, and they're like, "Oh, we need to switch to these th- thrusters," and now they just uh, they uh, ended up turning on some thrusters that helped it when it launched. Huh. Way back in yeah. seventy, they haven't been used since seventy seven. And the fucking thrusters worked, and they were able to realign it to get the uh, antenna to yeah. reposition to Earth. How long does it take for the message to get there? And back? I don't know. That's because it's yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, 93 million miles. They're going to start sending carrier yeah. pigeons over. That's oh, insane. What to do you, do it. No, it's insane. Well, it's just nuts. I think it's yeah, freaking awesome. Well, I bet they were uh, union workers that made that <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, maybe. It, so. With fucking abacuses and slide oh, rules man, slide and stuff, rules right? For sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm sure some computer stuff. And all oh, yeah, but not, not that much. much. No, not yeah. Jeez. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I just think it's fascinating. Well, the one with our nudes. When we sent our nudes up into space. What? Voyager, remember on the golden record? Yeah. So it's not just sound. It's got pictures that show like a human. Oh, you know what I mean? so if another uh, species alien picks species picks like, it up. They don't wear clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt. What is that disgusting <laughs> thing? <laughs> yeah. So what do you something. suppose that's and for? And it's a map how to get back to us. Yeah. Jeez. Which not everybody Lead was like, right you know, it's a great idea. <laughs> putting a fucking map on this thing. <laughs> right? I mean, I mean, if they're advanced enough to get to it, Maybe, I but guess. There's a certain equation, and I can't remember what it is, uh, but it's the chance that it's a benevolent species we'll run into is highly Exponentially limited. better. To, oh, no, limited. It's tiny. More than likely, it's a predatory species that has the steps necessary to get off the oh, planet Jesus. and into the stars. That's just what we need. Yeah. Let's yeah. shake things up this a little bit. Independence Day. Yeah. Bummer. Yeah, just like Independence Day. 
Hey, what the fuck is that smell? Yeah. Man, I hope that uh, Will Smith and uh, 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 Gold, uh, Goldblum, what the fuck? I can't Jeff, think. Jeff, Jeff, yeah, Jeff Goldblum, Jeff, Jeff Goldblum yeah. is Armable? still around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to upload that computer virus. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the computer virus that was written on a Mac. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like the that, Mac? Because the Macs are compatible with alien computers. Yeah. Well, of course they are, right? Because yeah, yeah. Steve Jobs was an alien. Yeah. You know, I recently heard that, that that sequence where he's dragging the dead alien body through the through the desert, and he goes, hey, what the fuck is that smell? That was ad lib. Oh, nice. <laughs> what is that? In Independence Day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's dragging that body and he's like yeah Yeah, welcome to fucking earth blah 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 and what the hell is that smell yeah jeez Man. Yeah. Well, also speaking of space, and Todd, I think you sent this to uh, Mike and I, but the uh, uh, British sci fi series Red Door oh, yeah. is coming out with yet another so season. Season 13, I think. 13 nice. over 34 years. The show started in 1988. Yes. Yes. Me and Marianne like, fell in love with that series like immediately when we saw it on, 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 on Channel, Channel 9. Channel 9, oh, yeah. And, yeah, uh, sure. yeah. and uh, what's funny is. Um, me and my, my, my best friend of 30-something years, uh, we had a huge nerd argument over Red Dwarf. Um, uh, there was an episode with, uh, it was called Despair Squid, and it was, it was, it was a great episode. And we, the argument was if it was a two-part episode or if it was one episode that was split in half because of the, of the marathon on Channel 9. Hey, we're, uh, we're showing oh, you great yeah, stuff. Yeah, you need yeah, to send yeah. us money. Yeah. And I'm like, no, it was a single episode. They just cut in half so they could sell you crap to you know, bring sure. They input their own commercial break. Yeah. 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 Take and we argued for hours. weeks about this. I'm like, no, it's a single episode. Each episode's like an hour long. That was two 30-minute episodes if it was two separate episodes. Why would they do that and she still to this day goes I still think it was uh, no, <laughs> like, well there's something called Wikipedia <laughs> oh, now there is yeah but back then it was like uh, you know that that argument happened in uh, yeah early 90s so it was before man the internet uh, became massive uh, before I, the IMDB was even a thing so I, my understanding is they're gonna start recording in October and the series is gonna come out the, the, the season is gonna come out in 2025 yeah, and it's likely gonna be like six episodes because that's the way they do it over there. yeah and I think they're only like half hour episodes now right I I haven't seen any of the newer ones I I actually have them I just haven't watched them yet yeah <laughs> yeah it's a funny series I haven't watched the whole series but I've seen like the first five seasons were yeah. great, yeah. and then after that they start. Getting Ace old. Rimmer is one of the best. Oh my characters god. of all time. Rimmer World, man. Yeah. Oh my so god, Rim. <laughs> Just because he's the foil, you know, and then then he has. His, Did you find out his, his letters after his name so is because it's swimming certificates? Uh, Man. Yeah. <laughs> swimming certificates. Jeez. Uh, for bizarre news, boys, uh, Steve-O of uh, Jackass yeah, fame, uh, he revealed a plan that he was going to get temporary breast implants for a gag. Because he's got some kind of touring thing, and he was going to record yeah. himself trying to hit on get dudes with. Oh. But he was actually going to get like yeah, breast implants. It's a major surgery. It's a major surgery. That. That's a major surgery. Well, so apparently uh, he says that he was going to do this, and he was all set up. And about ten hours before the surgery was going to take place, he found out that the anesthesiologist backed out because the guy found out that this is all a joke. This was he was going to do this as a stunt. Yeah. And anesthesia Anesthesiologist is like, I don't think you know you should do this for oh, a yeah. stun. No, and anesthesia can kill a person. Yes. Yeah, so yes. Too. Although, so, I mean, Steve O's a badass, but uh, that's weird. So well, then not he, weird, but that's just a bad bet. So yeah. then he was right. like, Well, yeah. I, I'm going to have to reschedule this, and then he went into like a. a store where a transgender person was working yeah. and started talking to them about it and finally realized that this is kind of a dumb idea, yeah. right? Uh, because he's he's sort of making light of what those folks go through right. to become who they yeah, yeah. are, right? The person, yeah. uh, right. The, the yeah. danger they, 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 they are presented with because people think it's an abomination or some other weird yeah. shit. Yeah, there's still tons of, of uh, bigotry against them. Oh, there's yeah. still oh, tons yeah, yeah, yeah. of vitriol, yeah. all that stuff. And he's like, okay, shit, maybe I didn't really... <laughs> 
<laughs> think, uh, think, think this through, and then finally decided that no, it's not a good idea that yeah. I do this. And yeah. it's a major surgery. Yes. Having elective surgery for, and then pulling for it back out is, 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 I mean, that's some fucking. I mean, it is Steve O. High level. That is. That's, but I mean, he I, he did get know, a tattoo. Too. While riding in an H1 Hummer <laughs> on an off-road it's track, it's one of the greatest yeah. segments I, I can imagine. Yeah. It's I mean, so good. This is also Henry the, Rollins driving the Jeep, right? I and this mean, is also so this, good. This is also the same guy who decided it was a great idea to launch bottle rockets from his anus. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean he yeah. is, he's a top-notch yeah. entertainer. He really is. Yeah. And he uh, and and he, uh, yeah, I mean yeah, he's the other thing I recently heard about him is he had a he had a he he, he basically called out the. Uh, insane clown posse for not being real clowns and they like legitimately started you know they had a beef and they were like we're gonna kick his ass if we ever see him and uh, he i guess he met up with them and talked to them and just said you know i was wrong i'm sorry and, and, and he goes and wait how do i become a juggalo he's like well you gotta get the hatchet man tattooed on you somewhere and the reason why he wanted to do that is because he he found out that the FBI sees the Juggalos as a as a terrorist organization or a what? gang or something or a gang I think yeah uh, no and he he went to uh, the festival or whatever yeah, gathering, the, the the gathering of the Juggalos yeah yeah, yeah oh and performed or whatever and was his own. Steve O'Sell, I think Man, that guy, oh my God. he's fucking impressed me with his crazy <laughs> antics. It's, you know? it's, it's, it's weird to me that he's crazier now that he's sober. You know? Yeah. I can see it. Maybe he's not as uh, paranoid to do stuff or something. And I mean, he's, uh, I guess, I mean, there's all sorts of crazy, crazy stuff to do, all right? I mean, <laughs> but he's raised the bar, that whole, yeah. his whole, that whole group, right? Yeah. He's still doing. Remember Jim Rose? Yeah. I mean, he's still alive. Thank Circus Sideshow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But same kind of thing. That yeah. sort of entertainment's gone yeah. on for a long, yeah. long time. I think Jim Rose, I mean, uh, they're not sticking bottle rockets up their butthole, but they're like fucking you know, hooks into yeah, their, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> One of the other guys took a hot Hot Wheels or a Matchbox car and shoved up his butt and then went to the doctor saying, hey, I'm, I'm having a Oh, pain. my God. And he wants to have, like, an, an, an x-ray done. So dumb. <laughs> it, was, so like, yeah, it was yeah. dumb, but it was, it was also very funny. The, the guy was, like, German, and he was, like, speaking to his his assistant, who was his wife, in German. Was like, this guy put a toy car huh. in his butt. What the hell is wrong with him? <laughs> he said it in German. He's American. <laughs> That's what's wrong with him. <laughs> he, he, he said it in German to his yeah. wife. He's and they subtitled it, so we knew what he was saying. But, it was, <laughs> oh, my God, that was so dumb, but it was funny. Yeah, man. Well, way on the other side of the spectrum from Steve-O, uh, Josh Gad, uh, he uh, plays, uh, he does the voice of Olaf from the yeah. Disney Frozen, oh, the okay, Snowman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he had some advice, which I believe is great advice for anybody wanting Wanting to be a voice actor, right? Because yeah. he said that he ended up using his real voice to voice Olaf. So now wherever he goes and he's in like Walmart in line and he's talking to somebody and the kids are like, he's, that's Olaf, that's Olaf. Oh, yeah. So he's like, he, if he could go back in time, he would totally do a different voice for Olaf mm -hmm. rather than using his yeah. regular voice because he keeps getting too recognized. Oh man, yeah. now, that's the problem you want to have, Josh. No, man. yes, yeah. but. Like Darth Vader. First world yeah. problems, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly though, I mean, of all the voice actors out there 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 are people who do many different voices but the the one that he's probably knows most well known for frank welker is known for doing all kinds of voices but the voice he's most known for is the voice of fred on scooby-doo and that's his natural speaking mm, no. yeah. yeah that's handy for if it does become your bread and butter job right yeah uh, yeah i better watch out for son son da dun son da 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 dun son diddly do diddly do yeah uh, i mean yeah it's a cuz he's got uh, frozen 3 and frozen 4 are currently wow. in the works there's yeah. no timeline on them yet but uh, geez, so, which is weird I mean, because i remember on, my game. daughter who's now 14 uh, having a frozen birthday party when she was mm. tiny and now we're still talking. I mean, it's like Toy Story started in '95 yeah, 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 yeah. and went all the way to just a couple of years ago. Generational. And they're doing another one. And they're doing another one. 
Yeah. Yeah. They just Time announced it at, at uh, D23 or whatever Man. it's called. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, do you guys remember Lorraine Newman, yeah. uh, Saturday Night Live right. yeah. uh, alumnus? Uh, she is not a fan of the show The Bear, which uh, Mike and I both watched and, and like a lot. Uh, mostly because her daughter, whose name is Hannah Einbinder, I think is how you say it, she's on the show Hacks. Oh. And she was up for uh, an Emmy Award, and it ended up uh, being won by uh, the gal that plays the... Uh, the, not the sous chef, but the, the Hispanic lady. That, uh, oh, Tina? Tina. Yeah. Uh, ended up being won by her, which is awesome because she does, she's does the first, does a does great, great job. job, and she's the first Latina to ever win but that award. She, but did, was it for a comedic performance? Yes, yes that is where the. Me at? That's it's what like, everybody's no. saying Except is. Except in the Greek tragic comedy <laughs> yeah. sense of it. Which is a thing, yeah. right? Like a yeah, theater yeah. comedy has, you know, somebody dying and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, it was won by Lisa yeah. Colon Zayas. I hope I'm saying that right from the Bear, uh, first Latina, um, and it's already she, won a ton of awards in the comedy yeah, thing. And I, I looked at the wife. I said, "Well, they kind of got a point because it's not really funny. There's funny moments. Yeah, but it's not a comedy. But it's not one that you would sit and go, oh yeah, not, let's not, turn not on that I, comedy. I need a comedy yeah, <laughs> modern our society's definition of the word comedy yeah yeah, yeah. you could flip, 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 so i kind of get it fancy thesaurus i don't know why they do it, is it because it's half hour episodes no i have no idea i have no idea no. that it's, it's trying to be like a sitcom like what the yeah, sitcom I don't, I don't would know, have do been do you apply to a certain category or i don't or know you it, put I your no put your show like the producers put I it in as a comedy like yeah. we want to our show comes right? out at midnight I, so it's i know that say that I know that she still acts, she, she does a lot of voice acting now. Who does? Uh, Lorraine Newman? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Right. I mean, geez, no, that's, I mean, I don't know what Lorraine, was that what she was mad about? or she just Well, because her daughter uh, oh, could have won, could, won oh, wow. if that, you know, kind of thing. So she sent a tweet out that said, fuck the bear. Well, right? that's dumb. But I get her frustration. But it's not the bear's fault. I don't know why they they slide it into that that category. I, 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 there, there's the rub. Yeah. Right. It's like yeah. yeah. It's, it's not the bear's bear. fault. It's not her daughter's fault. Yeah. And it's I and everybody's entitled to their opinion. God it, bless it, Lorraine it, Newman. But isn't that like a new category though? The isn't there isn't the whole comedy thing is like a new? I don't know. I thought I don't watch the Emmys. Uh, I don't either. Very often, but it, it I reminds, sort of pay attention to who won, so I can go. Oh, that's the, that show won a whole bunch of awards. This, I should check it out. This this sounds like the time where uh, Metallica was up for an award and they lost to Jethro Tull. <laughs> yeah, that was a, for it's heavy metal, metal, metal best metal album. album. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jethro <Yeah>. Tull. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do a flute sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they are, oh my God, so good. I, I do like Jethro Tull. I do too, but he's not metal. metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Who no, knows? it's not. I don't know. It's funny. I, and I, where I define metal, if you have love songs, you're not a metal band. Yeah. Like the Scorpions, God bless them. They yeah. fucking rock, but they have love songs, so they're not a metal band. They're a rock and roll band. Yeah. Like a hard rock Hard band. rock. You know yeah. what I mean? Hard but, rock. Uh, uh, I mean, Black Sabbath, that's metal. Yeah. They don't have like... My heart is broken. You know, yeah, like Iron Maiden all like, and all that so stuff. Yeah. On that logic, would you say Mama, I'm Coming Home is not a metal song? Because it's, Mama, I'm Coming Home. That's Ozzy. That's Ozzy, though. But, oh, yeah, that's Ozzy. And, and Ozzy's <laughs> Ozzy. He's his own thing. But you, you, it's different. He, Mama, he, I'm Coming he, Home. He's, oh, my God. Dude, seriously, but yeah. that's a love song, man. <laughs> um, and he's a metal, well, he's a metal it's, singer. It's, it's, and then his it's, band it's, is metal. He's appearing at his mortality, I yeah. think. What's the one he did with Lita Ford? Oh, close my eyes forever. Yeah, that's another that's fucking love song. No, that's about death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that yeah, that qualifies, and and I don't know. I said I'm, I'm just I'm yeah. just I'm just I'm just yeah, yeah, saying yeah. that that yeah. that logic doesn't track. I think no. Uh, speaking of uh, metal, uh, I didn't put this my in the yard, show notes. My gate. But uh, it is the uh, like the I think it's the. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like the major 50th. No, it's got to be more than that. 65th. I don't know. Uh, anniversary of Iron Maiden. Uh, and they're wow, going on tour it. right now. <laughs> it's in uh, the UK and parts of Europe. Yeah. But they're saying it's going to be, they're going to do it up. They're going to put this huge, th maybe they'll bring Eddie back with the thing. Big stage <laughs> show. They're going to do it up. And I, yeah. no U.S. dates as yet. Um, but I'm hoping that it'll come here because I would. Oh, they've delivered. Yeah. On Stop. They're yeah. one of the hardest working. Who was it that just uh, came? Was it the, they didn't just come here, did they? Who was it that was coming in? Uh, Def Leppard was here recently. I think yeah, that was, was it Priest or somebody that just came back. I think it was Priest, yeah. There's somebody coming up in a few weeks hmm. that I was going to get tickets and it was like, eh. Yeah. Shut it. Shut it. Yeah, they're, all, priest, they're all cheering uh, for us. Yeah, uh, when. Uh, <sighs> Uh, Dennis and uh, Brenda. Mm -hmm. Dennis's daughter's band opened for. Oh, I heard about this yeah, for yeah, point yeah, for yeah. Brett. Oh, that was for Brett. Michael. For Brett okay, Michaels. Yeah, right, okay. yeah, yeah. At the but at yeah. the uh, Kent yeah. Uh, yeah, Snow I Show. Saw Priest. Yeah, I saw Priest. Yeah. At the show. I've, I've seen Priest a number of times. Yeah, yeah. But the latest time was at I the mean, show. Was. Brett yeah. Michaels That's is playing cool. a lot of Poison stuff. On, on oh yeah, yeah. I'm oh, sure yeah, he did. Yeah. Did you go to that show? Oh yeah. Yeah. And what? The Cherry Pie guys. Dude, was there? Was that before? Uh, yeah, that was the middle band. Janie died. What's his name? Lane. J Janie Lane died Janie in like Lane. early 2000s, I think. Uh, uh, it, was was while, that, yeah. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, it was. Actually, it was a while ago. Yeah. Jeez. Man. But Priest was cool. I like Priest. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Iron Maiden's the full show, man. Yeah, They're I would big, totally. Oh, yeah, you know who's coming to see yeah. to the the Crocodile is Zepparella, which is an all female tribute to, to Led Zeppelin. Oh, nice! And so the Iron Maidens are coming. They are amazing yeah. too. I've seen them like three times. I feel times. like that's Corazon or something. Yeah, dude, I would absolutely see that. Nice, nice. The Maidens. Oh my God! Uh, well, speaking of music, boys, uh, have you heard what's going on with Jane's addiction? Anybody a Jane's addiction I fan? I saw a video, I but I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the, the backstory of why he flipped out. It just that he flipped out. Yeah, my understanding is that he Perry uh, Farrell, right? Yeah. Uh, hasn't been up to snuff like the rest of the band like dave navarro and uh avery i can't remember his first name and eric. the drummer eric yeah they're all doing really well coming out playing got their chops but perry's been struggling is my understanding he's been okay. struggling with his vocals and all that stuff and he just like welled up and lost it and just couldn't do it and he started blaming everybody else they started a song too fast and he lost his temper and he uh, went across the stage and there's video of it and he I got saw the video he navarro's him. face he just, we got yeah. in his face and started punching him yeah yeah, yeah. Navarro just looks like what the fuck what are you doing and he actually does, yeah. you actually see him go yeah you know? but yeah it's a drag it's and, a drag. I, and you want to know how you conquer that because the, the, he's still like 65 years old yeah. you get two backing singers right yeah. Problem fucking I mean, that's what uh, two core Vince or Neil or did. That's what fucking mass people do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Time or, yeah. Just have, or just right. have a backing track or whatever it's well, called. Well, sure. I, Perry doesn't want to have a backing track. No. I think he's part of And they're doing small. small yeah. They're I not mean, doing stadiums. They're yeah, doing... Paul, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons yeah. use backing tracks. Yes. Yeah, I know. And so does... Uh, oh, no. I mean, it's very common. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but I don't think Perry would do that. I really don't. I, don't I, think, so I think he's too... Yeah, he's too for the art kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, be, I'd be surprised at that. I wouldn't like so, him. I wouldn't be mad about it. So he had he had a meltdown because he f felt like he was not doing well uh, enough. I with think he was struggling, yeah. and he's probably got. I I don't know this, and I'm not trying to say that just, he's got mental yeah. issues or whatever. Oh, geez, yeah, I I, I'm not. I don't know, but it. I think he got so frustrated that he blew up, and I think the band like started yeah. a song too quick or something, and he wasn't ready. And then he just he went off, and he probably saw Navarro. Man, and it's a tense situation. Yeah. Mass people standing I, I out the, of practice for fucking yes. decades. Yeah, I right. watched. I watched so. the video, but I didn't know the, what led to that yeah. point because he uh, was yeah. like he was singing, and all of a sudden Navarro was coming in doing like a solo and stuff. He was just shredding, yeah. going. He was doing great as far as I could tell. Yeah, um, and you could just see like Perry just looking at him like, what the fuck. Yeah, Motherfucker. And, and he was. Bands are like marriage, man. And sometimes you have a good marriage, and sometimes you don't have a good marriage, and sometimes you're able to just sort of get along enough to make it work. Yeah. And sometimes shit just doesn't this, work. This is also the first time the original lineup has been together in what, 
20 years? Yeah, something like that. So that's probably it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet, and, and performing is stressful. Yes. Right? It's like, that's why people sell Medicaid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Especially mass pressure after having not performed with these people in 20 years. <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> and that's in Idaho. And we got to, I don't know. I mean, I get the idea of having reunion tours or whatever, because if anybody ever asked me to tour anywhere ever, I would. A year in. But, uh, yeah. But, so I get it, right? And plus, you can make money. Yes. Right? But, uh, Yes. Those guys can't. <laughs> Those. <laughs> yeah, no, they were coming here with Love and Rockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And I know people yeah. had already bought tickets and shit. It's yeah, like, yeah. But Bummer, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think he could have remedied that, but he probably got freaked out a little yeah. bit. And so Jane's Addiction, uh, Gong Show uh, 3, 2025. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have a date oh, yet, great. but yeah. we invite you to come down. Oh, and it would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. you guys can fight, yeah, or you can play music, or you can play music and then fight, and we're all good for it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. We'll, we'll put we'll put the stage in the middle of a and, uh, and nothing shocking is a that's a great album it's a great fucking record yeah I just oh, don't yeah. listen to it that often uh, is that the no, one that had no. been caught stealing uh, no, no that was the one the habitual yeah I, a, I don't know I that's an okay a, album yeah, too yeah no it was a good that's like the one in my life yeah. I think it's the one right. song I know of theirs I think there's probably another one but I think it's the yeah, one yeah, that uh, the whole down. album Nothing Shocking is a solid record yeah, yeah. it is it's I good. remember that's seeing them that's Jane Says huh Jane Says, says. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah yeah I remember seeing them live uh, and I couldn't even tell you what year it was but I just remember uh, at one point they all came together on stage and brought out dr- and did like a drum circle Oh wow! Right, yeah. and it was like badass. I was like, "What in the heck's going?" It was cool, yeah. but yeah. but I don't remember much about uh-huh. that show. Yeah, because I, I, I like them as a cool LA rock yeah. at the time, right? Yeah, yeah. A lot of LA rock at the time were just kind of cocaine. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah, right. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were alternative. They were something different. Yeah, yeah. And one, I would say, artsy, I mean, cool, kind of one of the yeah. OG alternative bands, I think right? So, yeah, yeah. And started their own tour, right? Yeah. And Lala Palooza was the James Addiction. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Don't freak some suckers out. A guy oh, just rode by on his bike wearing a Freddy Krueger mask. Yeah, and then went the wrong way. And then went the wrong way yeah. down a one way. Good yeah. luck. Ah. I'm haunting your dreams. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, bands that don't get along, boys, Oasis, not a fan myself, but. Uh, I like the one song. The Wonderwall, or, or the. Yeah. Is that the song? That, or that, that's that the album. That might be. That's just the song. Okay. Uh, they're getting back together. Famously, the two brothers, Liam and uh, something Gallagher, Noel, uh, Noel uh, had a big argument. Famously, don't get along. Kind of like the Kinks brothers. Kind of like the yeah. like uh, Ray Davies and yeah. uh, all that. I mean, the one brother is like the over the top front man and the other one's like the one who does everything else. Yeah, the one guy writes the songs and does, no, <laughs> does everything. Oh the one brother does, the other one just yeah. like, I don't Shows know, he's the singer it, or the... It, it, would, it, would be like, it would be like having uh, David Lee Roth and, and, uh, and, and Red Rocker Together, together in a band. In a band, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, just yeah. Or Eddie Van Halen and David Lee Roth in yeah. a band together, right? But anyway, so they, they've decided to get back together because money's a good thing. And uh, they're going to tour Europe, and their tickets went on sale, and they did that dynamic pricing thing. I don't know what that is. It's where where there's higher demand, the prices go up. Oh my god! Oh, so of course that. people are like, fucking eight hundred dollars a ticket or six hundred and five hundred bucks a ticket to go see Oasis. I really want to go because they were a huge band in that uh, Brit pop yeah. couple of years. Yeah, right? those those guys pissed off a lot of people saying they were better than the Beatles. Yes. Yeah. And they're very full of themselves. And, well, and, I mean, to be fair, they are from the same hometown, so... Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, but uh, I do know that they've been, like, tweeting out, like, why is everybody complaining? You know, this is this is how things work, and, you know, fuck off if you don't want to come to the show, if you can't afford it or whatever. And then Gene Simmons, we talked about Kiss a yeah, little bit ago, uh, got into the thing, too, and said... Uh, it's basically supply and demand. It's capitalism, people. If you can't afford right. to go, don't go. Uh, and uh, you're entitled to fuck the right off if you uh, don't yeah, like it, Gene. right? Yeah, yeah. And Gene, anytime anybody ever mentions the word money, he wants a dollar. <laughs> he starts <laughs> drooling. Dude, you, like his, Pavlov's he's like dog. He invented money. His, 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 his brand logo is a bag of money. Yeah, I, <laughs> I am 
I'm not kidding. And I mean, dynamic. This is the only place. This is for wait until it's for hospitals. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It, 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 this is a reintroduction of such a thing. This isn't the end of it. And this is for something you don't have to do. Right. But uh, how about, yeah, I mean, they do dynamic pricing on uh, HOV lanes, yep. toll lanes yep. and shit, right? The busier it Dyna- is. Yeah, no fuck. Yeah. It should be sliding <laughs> scale, the opposite. It's like bro. dynamic pricing on yeah. toilet paper during the pandemic, yeah. right? It's Kinda. going up because it's 900 well, bucks we a roll. don't think that profiteering is bad. Yeah. I mean, I think we do. We just don't talk about it. Well, it's like all yeah. those guys that went and bought all the Lysol With cans coffee. and shit right when the pandemic oh, <laughs> kick started. Yeah. And then they were on eBay selling, you know, $50 cans of Lysol. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's the uh, um, yeah, yeah. supply also, and demand. They were also yeah. selling like the the uh, uh, hand sanitizer. Too. Yes, yeah, 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 supply and demand. Yeah. But then there was a bunch of companies like uh, there's a hair gel company that I like a lot. It's called Suavecito, oh. um, and they're based out of L. A. And they changed all their uh, mecha- mechanisms down there to just produce hand sanitizer and they were selling it at a reasonable price they're like hey we can hold off on the hair gel for a while and we'll bottle up the hand sanitizer and mail it out to you it's really easy to make folks just go get some 90 uh 90 isopropyl 90 percent isopropyl alcohol and get some aloe vera gel and you mix it together and you got hand sanitizer that's it <laughs> that's all it is yeah so oasis i don't know anybody anybody yeah, I, dying yeah, I to go see oasis what was the other like blur and uh yeah, what was the one that uh i don't know I, and nobody cares how i feel about it but i still want to know how i feel about it yeah right? it's like reunion tours in general it's like i get it because people want to see them one last time and yeah. reminisce and yeah I get it. And it can relive that moment. Yeah. Reunion tours are basically a cash grab for uh, the band. Sure. There's just so much really good new bands. Yeah. Right? So yeah. many new bands uh, right yeah. now. Right this very second. It's yeah. like, and that's how you discover the next da da da. Whoever that might be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like they're out there right now, and they're not $500. Right. And parking. 20 bucks and all at the door, you know 25 I mean? bucks at the door. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, geez. Uh, and then final music news. I don't know if this affects anybody in the room, but REO Speedwagon is no longer going to tour after nice. 2024. Uh, yeah, they have one song that I really, really like. <laughs> Which uh, one is that? I can't remember that. I can't fight this no, feeling no, 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 They have okay. three guitar players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, and, but it's... Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, dun, 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 keep on rolling. Keep oh, on yeah, rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So dramatic. Yes. The whole song yeah, is yeah, super, yeah. And then each yeah. guitar player has like an extension solo. <laughs> yeah. They just yeah. keep layering it on and on. It's like, ugh. That's uh, a good song. Apparently, the, I think it's the bassist. His name is Bruce Hall. Had back surgery, and he's not going to be able to perform for a while. And so the other uh, main guy that's been in there for like fifty years. Yeah, it's kind of like a Mick Mars situation when Mick kind of had to step back and say, "Hey, I don't know that I can tour anymore, but any new music that we want to produce, I want to be in the band. I want to be a part of it. I, I'm a twenty five percent stakeholder in this." Right. But they ended up firing him. Mm. It sounds like they just can't agree on sure. what yeah, Kevin w- how to move for yeah Kevin uh, uh, yeah oh I had I his forgot. name on here yeah. Kevin uh, no they're in their 70s man oh yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean if you could if you were just doing casino to casino let's say mm-hmm. right, so you had, knew you had a place to stay and a decent meal right and whatever they're paying you in a nice bus yeah eh, that's yeah, not yeah. terrible right? yeah yeah i mean a huge tour like maiden used to maiden would tour for over a year yes at a time yes no and hit family. the road on a bus no. oh my god I a bus. So many homies that you've known yes. iron maiden doesn't oh. use a bus they have a plane well now, now they do now, but now, when now, they first in the early yeah. 80s they yeah they went through the soviet union <laughs> for a year <laughs> on a Soviet they, bus. Well, they could have been arrested at yeah. any moment. Wow. Yeah. At any at For any anything. Time. Any oh. wrong move. Yeah. Yeah. Until my I, dying breath. I remember yeah. seeing oh. an interview with, with uh with the singer saying, Yeah, we I, I got my license to fly jumbo jets so we could just Go to the airport, load up, and then leave. And yeah, with your own crew. Yeah. It's, like, hey, it's yeah. not a bad idea. Yeah. And a 747. 
workhorse. That's where the oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what they put the president on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? That's it's true. Amazing aircraft. Yeah. 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 yeah, Bruce Dickinson is an overachiever. Yes. Yeah. He is oh, he, he, he really is. It's, it's too much. It's, he can do everything. Yeah. Isn't he like ballet? He does a lot of ballet yeah. dancing no, stuff. Of course. Yeah, of course yeah. he does. Yeah. I just, uh, Danny's, the wife's uh, brother, my brother in law, was up, and uh, somehow we were talking like Ario Speed. He turned on like the station, and it was like, play uh, Ario Speedwagon State. It wasn't them, but it was like, it wasn't April Wine or anything. Yeah. I said, man, this yeah, is kind of your April jam, Wine. isn't it? Because he's right. like about five years, he's like four years older than us. Right. And I'm like, is this kind of your jam? He's like, yeah. I'm like, like, Triumph? He's like, yeah. 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 I'm like, like uh, Cheap Trick, like uh, <laughs> naming yeah. off all the bands, right? And he's like, yeah, this is my deal. But that's that kind of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What yeah. would you call it? So it's, it's not hard, hard rock. Like, it's just, it's not, is it soft rock? Triumph, Triumph isn't soft rock. No, I Triumph mean, is, but they, yeah. they, they I don't, Cheap Trick wasn't soft rock. No, I wouldn't say them yeah. either. No, and was, I'm a Cheap Trick fan. Rock. Oh, yeah, they're cool. So. Than the Those band. guys, I always come pick. Yeah, that's good old rock and roll, Sticks. right? Sticks. I, I yeah. thought I thought of them as uh, They're classic rock phone. now, bro. Yeah. I, I, I thought they were kind of like a uh, like a punk ish. They were they had like the punk aesthetic to them, but that they, garage band. Yeah, but, but, but no, just the way they the way they dress yeah. and the way they the, the way their oh, performances. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of that new wave, that post punk yeah. kind of thing. They picked a style, like, like the cars, yeah. kind of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's also yeah. punk. It's just not. Yeah, yeah. It's just not like that's uh, the wave. That's the second wave or the yeah, new yeah. wave, yeah. post punk yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, Talking Heads stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Uh, boys, some celebrity deaths this week. Uh, rest in peace. Chad McQueen dies at 63. Chad is the son of Steve oh, McQueen. Steve McQueen. Oh. He was also Dutch in uh, Karate Kid. Uh, he was one of the bad. He was one of Johnny's minions. Oh. He was the guy that was like the big kind of jacked up, uh, the blonde dude. Uh, I don't know if you remember him, but that's probably his most famous movie role. Uh, he was in a few other movies. What movie? Uh, Karate Kid, the first one. Oh. Uh, he was Dutch. He was one of the blonde uh, Johnny dudes who was dressed up as. But he was the guy. I don't know if he was the one that was yelling "sweep the leg" or whatever, oh. but. Uh, well, that guy died of cancer a couple years ago. No, did he? Yeah. So this guy, he didn't. Uh, he did not show up in uh, Cobra Kai, um, uh, and they explained yet. him. Well, he's dead. <laughs> so maybe. In well, no, no. The, the guy who 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 was sweep the leg. That guy. He was in like season two or three. Oh, okay. And he was in there, and, and his character was also dying of cancer. So oh, they wrote that into the okay. last. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Chad did not make the show, and they explained that he was arrested for something and was in jail serving time for something but he was a prolific like his dad was into racing cars and motorcycles yeah. and stuff and Chad was too he uh, was racing cars got into an accident at one point so he wasn't able to continue his driving career but he like sponsored a race car huh team and all kinds of stuff but uh 63 years old uh but yeah steve mcqueen's uh who i think is one of the coolest actors oh, yeah. ever the coolest but, yeah, uh, yeah 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 uh, also rest in peace uh, one of the jackson five tito yeah, passed away yeah. at 70 yeah. he's a hall of fame uh, music hall of fame young, yeah uh i don't right. remember was he the guitar player for them yeah, I think he was. He was, was the he bass the, player. I think. The bass player. Yeah, I mean, he did a few albums on his own after Jackson Five broke up. He Never was the older brother, right? I don't know. Randy, I think, was the oldest, oh, wasn't? Yeah. He? Maybe that's one thing. Yeah. I think whoever the oldest yeah. brother was, he was the one who was on the bass guitar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tito, man. Uh, but seventy. No, no, I did not hear any kind of. Uh, Cause of death stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's but old, so that's seventy. Tough. Seventy yeah. that old. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it shouldn't, shouldn't be. be. It shouldn't be. Yeah. I think now my dad passed away at sixty four. Yeah, my mom. I'm like fucking ten years away. Oh man. From the yeah. year from the age, yeah. but we're not blood related biologically, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, not that worried yeah. about it, but at the same time, it's and like, I think we just are healthier people, right? We just eat I better. would think so. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, it would be hard not to be. Yeah. We have so much 
uh, we're we're food spoiled in this yeah. world. Yeah. Jeez, and uh, rest in peace, J.D. Southern, 78. This guy, uh, Hall of Fame songwriter, new kid in town. He wrote a bunch of the Eagles hits, uh, co-wrote Don Henley's hit. uh, uh, Which one was his? Uh, Don Henley, The Heart of the Matter. It's The Heart of the Matter. Oh, yeah, that's a good song. He wrote that with Mike Campbell, who was uh, the guitarist for uh, 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 Tom Petty. Petty, And... uh, and uh, uh, the guy himself, Don Henley, huh. the three of them wrote that song together. Uh, he wrote uh, Heartache Tonight. He wrote nice uh, yeah. uh, Faithless yeah. Love for Linda Ronstadt. He was also an actor. Uh, he was on 30-something. He was on Nashville. He was in the movie Postcards from the Edge and the movie My Girl 2. Um, and then uh, he also had his own top 10 hit in 1979 with You're Only Lonely. And I was like, oh, I don't know that song. So I played it when I was writing this up and uh, I did recognize it. Right. But uh, it's not like Jeez. in like heavy rotation anywhere. It's kind of a country soft rock oh, kind okay. of a thing. Yeah, but, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but geez, yeah, I mean, had a huge career. Yeah, uh, went on tour, uh, played with uh, uh, James Taylor. <laughs> um, I think they toured together a little bit and did all. I mean, just a yeah. pretty fantastic life. But right on. Seventy eight. Jeez. 78. Yeah. Man. Right on. And I'm not a big Eagles fan. I mean, I tolerate them if they come on the radio yeah, in the yeah. background. If I overplay it. Yeah. I, I actively like them. Right. I, I don't right. turn them off when they come on. But, I mean, yeah, they, they get a lot of airplay. I mean, I like they're, yeah. they're right up there with Nirvana as far as bands that get played a lot. Mm. You know? uh, the largest selling record of all time is the Eagles' greatest hit. Yeah. 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 Surpassed Thriller. I, and, uh, I got to go see yeah. them on their Hell Freezes Over tour right when they were oh, nice. the reunion tour. And uh, I was. Was Fry still alive? Yeah. At that point? Every, okay. Everybody was still alive at that point. Yeah. And because uh, it, it was like uh, early to mid 90s when they did that. And, uh, and at the show, it was at the Rose Bowl, at uh, the Rose Garden down in Portland. Mm. And. Uh, I remember sitting there listening to all the songs. I was like, "Oh my God, they did this song too!" And uh, my sister's like, "No, that's that guy's solo stuff." Solo stuff, yeah. And, they, and they, yeah. she says they all work together. After they split up, they would work on each other's albums. Oh yeah. yeah. I was like, and I before they, they all could like stand each other in the same apartment building. Yeah. They were the backing band for Linda Ronstadt for a while. I think they were all friends. Yeah. yeah it's not because they were studio guys. Yeah. yeah. They all but they were in that. There was a community in L.A. which included like Loggins and Messina and the guys from the Eagles and Linda Ronstadt oh, and the car long hair. <laughs> <laughs> but there was that community in this guy, J.D. Southern, all sure. these guys writing songs and picking and doing the thing. And that, um, was, uh, that was the Bay or that was L.A.? That L.A., was I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah. Sure, so, for sure, for sure. In the, in the early 2000s, I think, when, when American Idol first came around and that guy, William Hung, was mm-hmm. on there, mm-hmm. after his... He, he took off. He became super famous because he was a terrible singer. Um, he put out an album of cover songs. Nice. And awesome. I, found, I found his version of Hotel California. And I had a friend of mine had. I had a friend of mine who absolutely hated Hotel California. He would get almost violent when he would come on the radio. He was like, nice. fucking turn it off! You yeah. know, kind of thing. And so I, I found... That that William Hung version of it, and I took the audio from that and put it to the actual music video for Hotel California, nice. and said, mm, said nice. it to him. He's like, "You're a dick." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, "I mean, if you, if you're gonna hate the song, you have a reason to hate the song. Yeah. This song, this version of the song was terrible." Yeah, man. When I was taking ukulele lessons from a local legend Corey Wilds, uh, you were taking guitar, ukulele? yes. Oh my god, from, from one of the Corey best guitars in, in the in the tri- yeah, state area yeah, yeah. Uh, really cool guy but uh, he did, we were doing like classic rock songs on the ukulele and uh, uh, he was like well, I was trying to figure out another song and I was, I was couldn't figure anything he's like we'll try this one and he starts getting into the Hotel California the opening of it and like mm. and I'm like he's like no it's a good it's a good one to learn you know for yeah. technique and stuff I'm like all right so who is that Glenn who is playing that I don't know who that is. I think on the guitar, I think that was uh, Joe. 
Joe uh, Walsh. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Uh, yeah. yeah, Joe Joe Walsh, my favorite uh, Eagle song is In the City. Uh, Same. Dude, yeah. oh my God. It's when such did, a good. Yeah. And he he released it as on his solo album, and then the Eagles were like, no, no, we want to put that on our album, too. And they and put it on. That's cool, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, now Joe Walsh, he's my favorite Eagle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, and he was the one I was like, oh my God, they did that? And he's like, no, that's his solo stuff. Yeah. And that was Joe Walsh. Yeah. I was like, I, I at that point, I realized I really like Joe Walsh. Because yeah. all his music. What's was, his What's his big hit that's way overplayed, but is still funny? Rocky Mountain or no. Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain. 185. Yeah, I used to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I lost my license and yeah, now I, I don't drive. drive. I actually saw a video recently on on TikTok. That they, uh, there's a, the, the actor from the show Jag, who was also on. Uh, the main uh, guy? No, he was like one of the side characters, uh, I think. Okay. But he was also on, on uh, Little House in the Prairie. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about. Oh, I do know who you're talking about. Yeah. So yeah. that guy, he says there was during a during a time where I, I wasn't on TV and I wasn't getting steady work with acting. I was doing delivery stuff, and I delivered I delivered to this house, and this woman comes out and she's wearing a giant bathrobe, he's like, and uh, you know, was paying her, and she's like. Look familiar. I know you. Were you on TV? And she's like, Yeah, I used to be on Little House on the Prairie. Blah 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 blah. Hey, Garvey. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think this character name. It's uh, Patrick uh, something. Oh, he was the son of somebody. He was the son. But his brother was also on the his show. Son, his son. His brother was the son of. Uh, he was the. Br- his brother played the brother of the main girl character on uh, the, the played Albert. Played Albert, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, those oh, two man. were like uh, Albert. Yeah, they're, yeah. And, and they're both they're both they're both like adopted too. So neither one of them were actually blood related. But either way, so he's making this delivery, and this gorgeous woman is like, okay, my husband, my my boyfriend will pay you. And he's like, hey, come here. This guy used to be on Little House on the Prairie. He goes, yeah, it's okay. I used to be in the Eagles, and it was joke. It was uh, nice. it was it was. Joke. Walsh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's nice. Yeah, geez. Uh, yeah, I used to be in the Eagles. <laughs> no shit. Uh, all right, well, boys, uh, sharing is a Karen. Uh, what do you guys get up to this week on uh, shows, podcasts, I, movies? I actually hosted um, the Who's Turns Anyhow last Tuesday. Nice. Yeah. And I was the I, I came up with all the games we we're gonna play and and uh, you know got all the all the uh, prompts for the different things. Do you get to give out the points and everything? I mean, I would have if I thought about doing that, but yeah. Uh, do you guys do that? Sometimes. Oh, okay. You rarely ever think, hey, points, but uh, um, but yeah, I was. I was so nerve wracking. I was like stammering quite a bit. You feel All good right. about it though? I mean. Uh, oh, is that a with, Chevelle? I mean. It's, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that it's either a Nova or a Chevelle. It's yeah. a Chevelle. But uh, no, it was a lot of fun. Um, nice. We're, we're, we're working on, on um, doing more uh, streaming of the shows because. A lot of people want to come in, but the the world fills up really quick, uh, so they can only hold like thirty two tops. Oh, so you guys are at capacity, and then so that's, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. So I, I suggested, hey, maybe we should start doing live streams. That way, more people, if they if they can't get into the world, at, at least, least they can, can watch, watch. Yeah. or at the very least, they can watch the the, the archived videos of the shows on mm. on social media. And so I was the one who uh, started doing live streaming on on Twitch. Problem we had though is the the, the royalty free music that is in the the uh, oh it doesn't translate to Twitch. It it, it was it was okay to use on Meta, uh, so Facebook and, and Instagram, no problem, uh, but could not play it on on Twitch. So and the opening when you when you reset the world or when you first go into the world this this kind of jazzy christmas song plays it gets stuck in your head too by the way uh and um uh, and like i got like three notifications of like copyright oh no oh, man i was like we can't have that song playing if we're gonna live stream and the owner of the world's like yeah fuck those guys i'm like you don't want to have live streaming okay i guess we're not doing twitch and he goes 
well, Arnold, we can do it. And they're like, no, we really can't. Because <laughs> they'll just, they'll just uh, blank like YouTube. Will they'll, they just they'll blank mute, out? They'll the, mute the video yeah. so you can't hear anything. Until it's or, done. Or, or, or delete it. Or they'll delete yeah. the video, too, is the other thing. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to do Twitch anymore because that was stressful. And uh, so I've, we've been trying to get the numbers up on Facebook. You need a minimum of 100 followers on Facebook to go live. So I've been trying to get people to go over and, and uh, follow that yeah. the YouTube or well, that. Send us a link. And uh, it's uh, just go to whose turn is it anyhow dot com and click on the Facebook page. How far away are you? Just need a few more. Or? We're we're at like sixty something right yeah, now. Okay, yeah. sixty six uh, follows, but like thirty two likes. I don't know which one matters. Yeah, it's really weird because like just means that you like the page, like the page, and you won't get. But any no, no, like no, notifications, no, 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 no. but if you follow it, then you'll get all the notifications. Yeah. So, so it's more, better to have followers. We get more followers when you have likes, which yeah. is I think good. But uh, yeah, if you go to go to whose turn is anyhow dot com, and uh, and you can click on the Facebook okay. page link, and that will take you to where you can like and follow. Dust button. And then uh, <laughs> uh, next next Tuesday. On, on whose turn is it anyhow it's going to be ladies night so the, the cast and everything is going to be all the ladies tonight is ladies night ladies night. I always think of uh, love it's <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, from Wedding Singer. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, Wedding Singer and and uh, Little Nicky because he's uh, oh does he do it? It's, it's it's same, oh, guy, same character. Same character. Oh, he goes man. to hell in Little Nicky. <laughs> but uh, but yeah yeah go go check it out. I mean if you like if you like st- if you like uh, improv comedy if you like whose line is it anyway it's essentially that but it's on uh, on virtual reality. Mm, nice. And uh, uh, and if you don't have virtual reality then you can just st- you can still watch. watch I mean it, you yeah. can actually. Um, the, you just can join in. On the Facebook page, there is a, an event, and it has a link. You click that link, it will open up in your browser, and you can watch it from your browser. Uh, if, we're, if it's not streaming live, you can still get into the world through the browser. And if you, Do you need the goggles plus the headphones plus a microphone, or does the, the, the is it all built in? It's all it's all it's it's all one thing. It's, oh, okay, so yeah. you don't need a whole bunch of other. Yeah, stuff. you don't need extra shit. It just if you have an Oculus, which the <laughs> Oculus Two right now is about two hundred bucks. They're they're way cheaper than they used to be. When I bought mine, it was like three hundred fifty bucks. But then what's that plug into? It doesn't. It's I mean, you, TV you, you, can, you can plug it in. Oh no, you don't need a TV. You, you can plug it into your computer. Computer, if you want to, you don't have to. It's all Is it just like, Wi-Fi. It's all self-contained. It just has a Wi-Fi mm-hmm. connection. Oh, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. No console, no nothing. No console, nothing. It you can plug it direct. Yeah, it's uh, so that's why you could like uh, pair it to your phone, like use your phone as a hotspot. You can use a hotspot. I mean, I did, I did that. Um, you can also like cast from your device to your phone or, oh, or yeah. your, if yeah, you yeah. have if you have like a Chromecast or like a Roku, you can cast it to your TV as well. So people in the house can watch you play whatever game you're playing. Mm. But uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, and I told these guys last week after the fact because I totally forgot but i'll tell you guys uh we got a cameo from colin mockery and i actually found out you showed that to us i found out yesterday that he actually didn't end up paying for it because uh the way cameo works and you know this if we we had a super we oh yeah if they don't get to it in a certain amount of time you basically get refunded Oh. And uh, so Colin didn't respond in, like, I think it's seven days. But he still did it. Seven days. So he, Colin reached out to the guy who requested the cameo, which his name is 